Hey guys, we're back, finally. So this, I strongly suspect, will be the final episode of Dragonfall. Uh, so we just got a mission from, I forget his name, I think it's Yusuf, who sent us, who we just spur of the moment decided is our fixer. And he just sent us on a mission. Uh, I suspect we'll probably have to kill Glory at some point because she turned all evil and has mind control or mind influence powers now from the fucking Satan thing that we killed. But that's probably not going to be dealt with until I guess like after. Hey there, Pally. The train car is empty except for the man in the immaculately tailored Italian suit. You notice him watching you for several minutes while the van rumbles its way towards Brandon Burgatour. Finally, he speaks. He's an assassin. The stranger's words come out slowly in a deep, melodious tone that is easy to hear despite the noise of the train. He takes his time, accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, tasting them as if they were a delicacy. Strange man. Hello, I assume that the business with Dr. Fauclair is concluded, yes? Do I know you, friend? No, but you are about to. And because I played Returns, I recognize him. He is, uh, Lofir. Or I think he is. No, I... Uh, the man inclines his head slightly in his introduction. Hans Brackhouse, I represent an interested party, someone who wishes to know about your encounter with Dr. Fauclair. Does this interested party understand that information is a commodity? Brackhouse continues, My employer also wishes to hear about the Lady Feuerschwinge, a fascinating creature so unlike her brothers and sisters. It is a relief that she is now free. Dragons are not meant for captivity, the Lady Feuerschwinge at least of all. She was special in this world, I am sure you would agree. I think I'll disagree with all of these, but three is, uh, it's another taker. For those who ta get taken, Dragon's just another taker. He purses his lips considering just another taker, interesting. Dragon's take, this is undeniable, but they cannot be considered just another taker, as you put. They are the ultimate takers, it is their reason for existence. The great dragons are very old and very powerful and very, very cunning. A cunning unknowable to you. Fair enough. You look at a moth and barely perceive sentience. You glance... You glance its way amused as it flutters towards a bright light in a vain attempt to what? To enter? To draw strength? To burn? It doesn't know... Its epic struggle is barely one hundredth of your lifespan. The sum total of its existence is nothing against the vast scale of your struggles, your hopes, your dreams, which you could not fathom in a thousand... a thousand thousand years. All right, poor moth. It's called a million, dude. He leans forward. You will live and die between the beats of a dragon's heart, mind Freund. What hope do you have of understanding them? I understand more than I did yesterday. I spoke to her. Feuerschwinger was different from other dragons, wasn't she? 
Brackhouse studies your face closely. Indeed she was. Indeed she was. I am pleased you see it. My lady Feuerschwinge was a nurturer, a caregiver, rare among her kind. While her brothers and sisters saw the world as a prize to be won, she saw it as a garden to be tended. Can you imagine? For world upon world, the great dragon Feuerschwinge bought brought wisdom and succor to countless souls, and she was loved for it, exalted a goddess. Right. When she awoke from her long slumber in 2012, and saw what the world had become, what metahumanity had done to the garden she tended for great ages she struck, I think we gathered that when we spoke to her, struck with rage, regret, frustration, and anguish of a mother whose children had played with fire and burned the house down, killing themselves in the blaze. She unleashed fire and death through her tears. And now she is free again and insane, the perfect addition to the sixth world. All right. All right, all right. All right. One for me. Seem to know a lot about dragons, Hans. I think your employer wants you telling me all this, all right? I am sure of it. You may consider this conversation an employment interview for a very influential client, one who pays extraordinarily well. Now listen. The man removes his hand from his knees, folds them in his lap. I tell you all of this so you have context, perspective, before I ask you this next question, Shadowrunner. If Dr. Fauclair's weapon had not required a dragon, f had not required dragon fire, if it had been capable of destroying every dragon on Earth without touching a hair of hu on humanity's head, would you have used it? Uh, wrong. I don't think so. I don't think so. Who knows what would fill the power vacuum left behind? Indeed, there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Things you do not wish to know. Well, onto the business at hand. My employer wishes to secure your team's services for a series of operations that will likely require the remainder of 2054. All right. I don't know. After green winters, I need to have a better idea of who I am working for these days. Of course, and you have dealt with several false flag contracts as well recently, yes? It is an awful thing to be manipulated, I am sure. There will be no secrets between us. Your employee will be the great dragon Lofweer. He is sometimes referred to as the Golden Worm. Perhaps you have heard of him. I think I'm going to make a deal with a dragon. <laughs> lots and lots of money. His eyes glint. Because you have already been working for him for some time now, my hair. Okay. Fucking dog. What did you think Reed Winters found the Harfield Manor on his own? Alright. Alright. Mm, I'm not going to argue with him. Say nothing. That puts a new spin on things. Doesn't it? Hmm. The rattle of wheel on track gives way to shimmying screech. Gradually the train begins to slow. He glances up at the U-Bahn. Map on the wall and smiles. Ah, oh, this is my stop coming. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Looks like this is my stop too. The train comes to a halt and the doors open. Brackhouse stands. I'm figuring positions of power could, uh,. Maybe do something about glory, I guess. 
I mean, I'm guessing I'd probably have to kill her at this point. But if I didn't have to, that would be okay, yeah. That'd be optimal, I guess. The train comes to a halt and the doors open. Brackhouse stands, brushes off his Italian suit, and exits without another word. As you turn to follow, your eye catches an advertisement for warm talk above the subway car door. Brackhouse glances back at you from the platform, the light from the car reflecting yellow in his gaze. You step out of the subway car and follow him up the stairs and into the Berlin night, into the shadows. Yep. Berlin News Facts contains just one report of a shootout in an abandoned holdfast in the countryside east of Berlin. The identity of the combatants remain unknown, though several rival political factions are suspected and the location is soon cor cordoned off by unidentified corporate forces. This news is eclipsed, is eclipsed when Seder Krupp announces its acquisition of Ari... That, they need to change that name. Ariana Space, the last remaining arm of the European Space Program. The Flux State's anarchist rule remains until 2055, when joined corporate forces acting... With the support of the German government invade the city, it is widely known that the great dragon Lofweer is responsible for orchestrating this action. After weeks of fighting, the surviving anarchists are forced to retreat to the eastern part of the city. A truce is signed in 2060, and Berlin is again divided by a wall. Ah. Yeah, progress. The great dragon Dunkelzon is elected president of the United Canadian and American States in 2057. He is promptly assassinated as he leaves an inauguration party at the Watergate Hotel while in human form. Popular opinion is that another great dragon is responsible, as only a dragon can kill a dragon, but those in the shadows hint that an act of powerful blood magic is the cause. Grainy photographs of a large winged creature crossing a full moon above the Hartz Mountains circulate in Germany for several years. Conspiracy theorists Take this as evidence that a new great dragon has emerged, but when no further sightings are reported, interest wanes. The name of Dr. Adrian Fauclair has since been lost to the shadows. Alright. So, Hong Kong will be next. Whoop. I mean, if you want to see the credits, I'd recommend just maybe playing the game for yourself. I mean... This is pretty good. I mean, it was definitely better than Returns. Uh, but a lot of other people said that, so... But I like how, like, a lot of my... I mean, that is good game design, how a lot of your uh, decisions do actually come... Uh, come back around to bite you in the ass or help you one way or another. But, uh, you know. Eh. Yeah. I don't know if it's looping or not. I don't think it is. This is big. can't read that fast, so. And, uh, I guess we're good. Well, till next time, guys. Bye.